It's time to celebrate the next milestone, the Audi e-tron GT. Janelle Monet, Hildegard, Marcus, congratulations. Wow. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Audi e-tron GT. This is where passion, courage, and curiosity come together and progress emerges. The car symbolizes the Audi DNA and the ambition to shape the future of premium mobility. Looking at it, you can see, or I should say, you can feel that this car perfectly embodies Audi's innovative and pioneering spirit. Stephen, you know what? I think this is a clear trailblazer that allows Audi to rethink technology. For me, the car is the most sophisticated take on intelligent performance. Marcus, what do you think? Well. The e-tron GT is the first battery electric model from Audi with a flat floor architecture. It shows what intelligent performance, emotional design and sustainability mean to us. And brings Vorsprung durch Technik to the road with 100% electric, quattro drive, torque vectoring and four wheel steering. And this car brings Vorsprung durch Technik to the road. You ask about electrical range? From 433 up to 472 kilometers, according to WLTP. That should take you quite a while. Top speed, 250 kilometers per hour. It's the most powerful Audi ever built. But you ask for acceleration, ready to take this? From 0 to 100, 3.3 seconds. <laughs> but you know, equally important for electric cars is the charging time. So charging time, up to 80% capacity with up to a 700 kilowatt at an 800 volt charging station. Less than 23 minutes. You better rush with your coffee break. Hildegard, there's still one more question, not only important to me, but probably most people out there. What makes the e-tron GT sustainable? Yeah, I think, Stephen, clearly the electric drive of the Audi e-tron GT is the perfect combination of powerful performance and high efficiency. And it comes from a plant that is CO2-neutral production on balance already today. But also, there are recycled materials in the interior, like the seat fabric, and that is another proof of our sustainability approach in here. This beauty here is by far the most attractive car I've ever drawn. But, but I know it's not the last beautiful <laughs> car he has designed, so, so more to come, actually. You are right. <laughs> a very proud father. Mark and I love it too. Um, I heard that the e-tron GT is not only just another new designed car, but the icon of a new era. Could you tell us why, especially, and what it meant for you to design it and create it? Now, you have to know that the e-tron GT is is the first battery electric vehicle based on a low floor platform. And because of this, you know, you have to know that aerodynamics are very important for an EV because you can extend the range. And that's why we came up with a complete new design process. Before we did the first sketch, we went with the whole team for many weeks to the wind tunnel. And during this time, we create the volume and the shape of the car. And by this, we came up with some really sophisticated aerodynamic ideas like the flush single frame like this air curtain here. 
like the flash rocker and my favorite detail, like this super fast, almost streamline shaped roof line. And you know, and all these features together are the reason why we left the wind tunnel with a very low drag coefficient of 0.2. And that's the reason why we could increase the range by many, many miles. But that's not all. That's not all, no, talking about design. Stephen, you have to know that the basis for good design are proportions. And these proportions are simply awesome. <laughs> but the proportions are defined by the package. And you know, on this package, I have to say, is a technical masterpiece. You know, this is, there is a huge battery pack located in the floor, 95 kilowatt, it's very big. It is a real four-seater, and the result is that the overall height is two inch less than an A7. And the reason is that the engineers came up with a, with a battery pack which has different height levels. And that's the reason why even a tall guy like me is able to have enough head clearance in the second row. And that's why this car is a, it's a new or modern or very progressive interpretation of a classical GT. That means proportions like a super sports car and the usability of a real four-seater. And that's something completely new. And talking about details, please have a look to this super progressive data running lights. That is the next step in our, in our light technology, this X, which visualizes laser light technology. The tail lights are matching perfectly to the headlights, the precise LED band, which are running in this vertical elements. And this creates a unique and progressive expression. And Stephen, my favorite detail, have a look to this muscle. That's the widest muscle we ever designed at Audi. And to sum it up, the e-tron GT embodies in perfection the next level of Audi's design language. The e-tron GT is not only all electric, but it's fast too. Watch out. Audi really wrote history. Brilliant drive. What a sport is our DNA. And that's a win. This is what these guys have been working for. The domination of Audi. Audi has been very innovative when it comes to technology in motorsport. It is a victory for Audi again. So much racing history. Christensen extends his record. Of course, Audi did it again. Innovative technology with a hybrid winning Le Mans. This is another famous win for the four hoops of Audi. And then that was my time. The Racing is the pinnacle of technologies, where technologies are pushed, are developed to the extreme, and then you can have a much better product for the roads out. The e GT is for me the best car that Audi has ever produced. The e GT is a true embodiment of our Audi DNA. To prove how capable the e GT really is, I'm gonna give you an edge and let you drive it while I drive my Formula E car. And we're going to do a sprint there on that eight-mile setup. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be fascinating. performance really from this road car. I mean amazing, huh? Oh, and it was pulling like we were like exactly the same performance right? all the way down. I lost that by like two meters. Hi to everybody around the world. <laughs> what is it like to drive as a race car driver a vehicle like this at two miles per hour onto this great stage? Well, I can, I can say, no, of course, it's not difficult, but it was just an honor. It's an honor for me to drive the RS e-tron GT onto the stage for the world premiere. Awesome. Nico, we are being joined by another sports legend from Sao Paulo. I believe that Lucas Di Grassi is here with us. Lucas, we saw that you and Nico had the pleasure to drive the e-tron GT, and you are allowed to hurt my feelings. What was it like, Nico? Uh, I, was, I was so impressed because the acceleration that I could compete with a full-blown racing car and then also the traction control so smooth, you know, it was really beautiful. Lucas, same for you? Yeah, I was really impressed on how close it was because 
we are talking about a racing car, and you can see the, the the transfer of technology straight away from the the Formula E to the RS Citroen GT. And uh, by the end of the day, me and Nico, we were really close to each other, like on the last meter, trying to see who to, who will win. Now, you're both race car drivers and know what it's like to drive high-powered cars at high speeds. Does it make a big difference when what you are driving is electric, Lucas? Stephen, I've always loved electric cars. And um, uh, since uh, a few years now, I, uh, we understand that they are the future. They are the future for sustainability. They are the future for a better planet. Um, but when you drive for the first time the RS Citroen GT, it's a completely new experience. Just the amount of torque, the acceleration, the agility, and of course the build quality of Audi, the, the space inside, is like, for me, by far the best all-around Audi I've ever driven. Nico, what do you say? Well, first of all, driving that Audi is just also good for my conscience because it, it means that I'm playing my part in shaping the future of mobility and in making mobility more sustainable. Hi. Linda, I would love to hear from you as well. I know you've driven the car a lot. What are your thoughts? So I know the car from the very first prototype through to the finished product. And as you and uh, Lucas said, the acceleration is just gorgeous. So my personal highlight during our test drives of the RS e-tron GT acceleration. So when I'm sitting behind the steering wheel and when I'm pushing the pedal, the acceleration and its feeling is just gorgeous. And really every time it makes me smile again. And so you accelerate from zero to 100 in only 3.3 seconds. And this is amazing even compared to other RS models. I'm very jealous and we can all see that you are very much in love with this car. Understandable. It left a lasting impression on you. Siegfried, can you tell us a bit about how you achieved that power and speed and what the development was like. Happy to do that, Stephen. More than three years ago, we had started from scratch and defined the purpose of the car from a customer perspective. And this is a high-performance Gran Turismo, 100% electric and the Audi typical Quattro. From the very beginning, I've put an emphasis on implementing our powertrain and driving behavior DNA. Controlled, precise and effortless. So Siegfried, I didn't expect you to say that, but now I remember that when I was out on the testing grounds, it was always the same. Um, and I've tried many, many other electric cars, and it's not the case with them. So really, uh, respect. I mean, we were convinced that this would result in an outstanding balance between race car and luxury car, especially for me as a former race car engineer. And then we went into the engineering phase and added the necessary engineering ingredients like a low center of gravity, and the adequate performance components. For me, the most emotional milestone was the first winter testing experience with the very first prototype. And to be honest, the only prototype we have had for a long time. Seeing the outstanding performance by driving through a twisty winter road and experiencing the controlled, precise, and effortless driving behavior still gives me goosebumps. Mm. And for those goosebumps, see, we spend a lot of time into developing the driver's experience. So the Audi e-tron GT combines the advantages of a Gran Turismo with high performance. And in the interior, we have a driver-focused architecture. Linda, thank you so much. Finally, <laughs> the magic word. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving the outside of the e-tron GT and we are moving to the inside of this beautiful car. Linda, show us what we all want to see. The architecture is inspired by the monoposto idea, which is typical design feature for sporty cars at Audi. So the interior is a pure Gran Turismo feeling. It's sporty, it's comfortable, and it's really wide feeling. And it's built for high daily usability because it comes as a four plus one seater with sufficient headroom also in the rear of the car. I would like to add some technical insights we transformed the mechanical Quattro into a super-performing electric Quattro. Due to more than 10,000 Newton meter at the wheel of the RS Eton GT and the ability to transfer torque in an instant from front to rear and vice versa, we realized, as you said, Linda, an acceleration of 3.3 seconds from zero to 100. This can be performed many times without any power degradation because we had engineered a tricky and robust thermal management system. Uh, Siegfried, if I may, we've talked a lot about the powertrain now. 
But what I also, what really struck me was how stable the car was and how much comfort that gave. Can you tell us a little bit how you achieved that with the suspension? Active air suspension and torque vectoring combined with a super fast stability and steering software matches the e-tron GT character and irons out even very uneven surfaces on the road. And on the other hand, it resides in an outstanding traction level on appropriated surfaces. So precision is really key for us at Audi, and precision is also key for the Audi e-tron GT. So the Audi e-tron GT is built at Böllinger Höfe, next to Neckarsulm, where craftsmanship meets smart factory, where digital processes meet precise hand-built quality. Now, so yeah, the e-tron GT is uh, fully electric and can be driven CO2 emission free. What else is that to talk about? There's one example, these special rims. They are made from carbon reduced aluminum and have dedicated aerodynamic design for reduced energy consumption, both in production and in use. An aluminum closed loop system reuses process scrap and saves energy and reduces the need for primary material. Also, the production at Berlinger Höfe is powered by renewable energy. You mentioned Berlinger Höfe, which I know is your flagship project, but can you maybe tell us what else you're doing at Audi to become more sustainable? Sure, there's so much more than that. Sustainability is a core value at Audi. It's an integral part of the Audi corporate strategy with focus on climate change. We are right in the middle of our biggest transformation ever in history and aim to be CO2 neutral by 2025 at our production sites. And of course, we already started. The production in Brussels, Gjör and Berlinger Höfe is CO2 neutral on balance. Besides that, we will introduce more than 30 electric vehicles until 2025, 20 of them fully electric. So yeah, there's been lots of talk about batteries, the raw materials and the production. Can you tell us more about the batteries in the e-tron GT? You know, the battery is the key component regarding sustainability, as it's a major aspect of the carbon footprint. That's why we oblige our cell suppliers to use 100% renewable electricity. Also, we are part of the multi-stakeholder initiative Global Battery Alliance. It's a collaboration platform of 70 organizations founded in 2017 to help establish a sustainable battery value chain. The e-tron GT starts a new era and it's only been possible due to the future-oriented mindset of everybody at Audi worldwide. So allow me to spare a very big thank you to the whole team that made this possible. So before the show ends, I'd like to thank you very much for joining us tonight, for staying with us on your screens. It's been a pleasure of celebrating the next chapter of Audi's history together with you, and I look forward to seeing you soon in the future.